What's up guys? So today in this video, we are gonna open up this massive box that I purchased a few months ago from Big Bad Toy Store. I received it the other day and I am waiting, or I have been waiting to open this thing up and I have been waiting to receive these toys because obviously it's from Big Bad Toy Store so what else would they send me? But I've been waiting a while to receive these toys, purchase them, and make this video for you. So let's get to it. All right, as you can see, this box is huge. And it's from Big Bad Toy Store. They have some pretty cool shipping tape. I don't know where I'm gonna be in this video, so I don't wanna be on camera, but Whatever happens, happens. So let's crack this open. As you can see, it says fragile handle with care or fragile if you're Italian. Whoa. And Big Bad Toy Store does know how to properly pack stuff. Look at all that bubble wrap. Or bubble air air padding. They send you out this little postcard. Is there anything I want to pre-order in there? Yes, I would like to order that Marvel Legends 2-pack of Wolverine and Hulk from their first encounter from Incredible Hulk 181. I also do want an Ant-Man helmet. We have some of the Masters of the Universe Classics figures, which I have most and we'll be seeing in this video maybe. And definitely some Godzilla figure art figures or monster arts. So this massive box, you guys ready to hear the price? Of course you are. So in total, I spent $416.59 on this. I did pre-order everything that was in here, but these items have been around for a while. So, let's show you what they are right away. We have Tuscador from Masters of the Universe Classics. So these are Masters of the Universe Classics figures from Mattel. That's um, Big Bad Toy Store acquired recently. So the figure's not Mattel. Here's Rotar and Twistoid. I was a little far behind. Uh, Super 7 now does the Masters of the Universe Classics for the time being. Mattel is probably gonna be doing, Mattel is gonna be doing some Some Masters of the Universe figures here shortly at San Diego Comic-Con this year. They've already shown off their exclusive He-Man Prince Adam figure. Laser Power He-Man and Laser Light Skeletor. If anybody knows anything about the original figures from the 80s on these two figures, they are very hard to come by. I don't even have them in my collection. And as you can see, I had to get two of them. I do take these out. I do keep them in the box and I do take them out. So I definitely need two. Masters of the Universe is my thing. There's another Tuscador. What is this? Masters of the Universe Vintage Eldor. Ooh, we're gonna be setting that aside along with Masters of the Universe Vintage Hero. I'm setting those aside. We'll talk about those in a little bit. Hover Robots. Two of them. I believe these were exclusive figures. They did a really good job packaging. 
Great Unrest Weapons Pack. Got two of those. And what is this? End of Wars Weapon Pack. Two of those. And we got a box of stackable stands for the figures to stand on. So here are the toys out of the packaging. I left the stackable stands still in the box because there's not really much to the packaging and I haven't opened up Hero or Eldor yet. I'll save those until later. But just going over these, the weapons packs are just re repainted uh, weapons of, of the accessories that came with previous figures. Like this came with Hurricane Hordak. There's your standard axe, shield, and as you can see back there, the green power sword that came with He-Man. There's this long axe. I believe it has a special name, but that I know came with Scareglow and maybe one or two other figures. I think King Randor, no, King Randor had a spear. But you've got a different colored gun for Trapjaw, his claw hand, his hook, armor for Ratlor. And there's Cowl. Here we have the hover robots. This will probably be, probably be the one I take out of the box just so I can fix that sticker. I haven't looked at the other one yet. Here's the other set of weapons. There's Keldor's sword or 2000, the 2002 Skeletor. There is the staff that goes with Horde Prime. There's a darker color Tila staff along with her armor, man at arms the 2002 Man at Arms arm cannon. There's a fire blade that goes with um, Drago Man, I believe. And there's his shield. There's a shield for Clawful. There's Tila's sword. There's a mace, another mace for Clawful. Going up to Tuscador from the He-Man line, or the cartoon, The New Adventures of He-Man. This figure is pretty huge. He looks to be the same size as Ram Man. Rotar and Twistoid. For this line, they decided to give them legs. They do have accessories where you can take off the lower half of them and put on their traditional little spin tops for their bottoms. And here we have Laser Power He-Man and Laser Light Skeletor. And these guys do not light up. But going back to Rotar and Twistoid, this is what they look like. All right, so let's crack open the vintage Hero and Eldor figures. We're gonna start off with Hero first.
So if you know anything about Masters of the Universe, you know the history behind this figure. So in the late 80s, as Masters of the Universe was beginning to sort of die down, Mattel decided that they were kind of going to sort of rebrand it with the powers of the great with the powers the powers of Grayskull line still under the Masters of the Universe um, title. And Hero and Eldor were two figures that they were sculpted, but they were never produced. They did release a couple um, accessories or um, beasts, dinosaurs, under the Grayskull line, at the, near the end of the line. There was a Tyrannosaurus, a Pterodactyl, and a Triceratops. Out of those three, I have one of them. There is a mini comic that was to go along that told the backstory um, of Hero and Eldor and pre, uh, Preternia. But after all these years, they've finally made Hero and Eldor, and I believe they actually used these sculpts to create these figures. I might be wrong on that. But this is what they were going to look like. Yeah, there you go. There's the Bionatops, Turbodactyl, and Tyrannosaurus Rex. And there's Eldor. Hero has been made into a figure one other time for a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive under the Masters of the Universe Classic line. As of right now, I'm going to keep this one in the in the plastic bag. I, I will be getting a second one to take out and have on display with my classic vintage figures. So we will actually put him right back in the box. That's not going to shut. And let's crack open Eldor now. This is very cool to have vintage vintage masters of the universe figures again Artwork on the back, just like the vintage figures. And this is really cool. And they haven't been punched. These are for collectors. He comes with a massive book. And if you can see, and that's his, his accessory that's behind him. Awesome. So there you guys have it. There is my mail call and as you can see it is nothing but toys. I probably should have had something to close the video out with. So let's take these guys out one last time. We'll put them side by side. And when I buy two more of these to take out of the box, we will go through them again. We'll do a, a mail call review. A two-in-one, a twofer. We'll do a twofer. So there you go. Thank you everyone for watching. It's a long video, 
So if you stuck around, give yourself a pat on the back because I can't pat you on the back. I, I can pat myself on the back, but I can't pat you on the back. So, later.